Hello lovely creatives, Vivian here from Vivian's Creativity Lab. Um, I don't know if you, you know, but I've, I've started a YouTube channel and um, I'm looking now to see how to do um, thumbnail templates. So I've come on to Canva. Um, Canva also has a free account that you can use. Um, all I did, um, actually, I'll go back to the home page. There we are. So here I've um, I've typed in YouTube thumbnail, and um, I'm going to, and I've put it on templates. Okay, so here are some high quality YouTube thumbnail templates for your next design. Very important, make sure that uh, your design is um, sized perfectly. Um, it should be 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these that are in the library at Canva. Remember, if they've got the, the crown, um, symbol then that is for uh, Canva Pro subscribers and you can get this template for free as it says here okay um, I like minimalistic designs as you probably know <laughs> for example I quite like this one very clear just a photograph and um, some text how to make money blogging so that's very clear and the text would probably be big enough to read on your phone um, you need your thumbnail to represent your video content okay so let's go down a bit okay here we have uh, some large text books for your mindset um, top 10 fitness secrets behind the scenes of modeling okay so let's um, decide Let, let's go and create a blank so that we don't have any copyright problems and um, let me see first of all we're going to go and get an, uh, an image from our library. Okay, my images. So let me come down here. Okay, this is a lady I created uh, quite a long time ago, actually. So I'm going to bring it out. I'm just left clicking and dragging it. OK, um, it's always suggested in design to make your designs a bit more elegant to use um, good col color contrast and also to leave some white space or what they call negative space in your design. As you can see, my lady, it's it's quite a busy image. Okay, I'm I'm holding down again, just to left clicking down. As you can see, those lines appear, and that means that the image is centered. I've left a bit of a white background, so to make this stand out, I'm going over to the left and scrolling up to the top elements okay I have some recently used ones um, which I will show you one is here and the other is here I'm just left clicking and I'm going to move them around a bit I don't want them actually over the lady's face so I'm holding down and dragging them in. 
to make them a bit smaller. Um, as you can see, as I'm dragging, you can see the width and the height. Okay, did you see that? It appears as you hold your left key down. So width 365, that seems quite good. And I'll do the same, or maybe not. Maybe leave that a bit smaller. Okay, so I've placed those. I'm now going over to the left to text, add a heading, and I'm going to write how. You can't see it because it's black on the picture, so I'm going to bring it up. Did you see how I did that with this little uh, sort of pointers here? And I can also turn it if, if required. I think I'll keep it straight. How? I don't actually like the, the font much. So I'm left clicking, holding down, and I'm going up here to fonts. Uh, let's find something a bit fancier. Okay, something with handwriting. Uh, ba -ba, I need something a bit elegant. Let's have a look. How? Let's see how that looks. How? Not very clear to read. So I'll go back. That was Brittany. If they've got a crown next to them, they are, as you can see, uh, you can use this font for free as a Canva Pro user. Uh, uh, finger paint. How? That's quite nice. Porcelain. Yeah, that's quite elegant, although it's a bit small. So while it's selected, I'm going back up to the top here to font size. At the moment it's on 52, so I'll make it a bit bigger. How? Maybe 64. How? And I'm going to change the color. So I'll select it again go up to text color remember you've got your document colors here you have your photo colors here um, document colors I, I might do that bright pink how okay and I'm going to add another piece of text A subheading this time I'll bring it down here how to create a thumbnail called YouTube. Okay, I'll just write, I'm going to click over it, go up. I think I'll use the same font, which was Brittany, I believe. No, porcelain. How to create a thumbnail. Um, it's a bit small, so I'm going to drag it along here and try and get it on one line. Clicking just before that. There we are. And do a space. How to create a thumbnail. And I'm going to go up to the top and make it a bit bigger. Possibly 48. No, a bit too big. Go back up. 42. For some reason, it's a little bit too big. Ah, oh, no, that's okay. I prefer to have it on one line. Okay, so I'm going to hold the left the mouse down, left click, drag along, and I am going to use the same color. How to create a thumbnail. Um, it's a bit small, so I'm going over here. I'm actually going to go and move that slightly and make this a bit bigger. Bring the text back down. How? And I'm going to do the same for this. It's 
that's 4.30. such a big box for this one let me just center can you see the dotted lines it centered it for me how to create a thumbnail uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make the text a bit bigger now left click hold down and try and get it up to 48 no it's gone on the other line so let me drag it along how to create a thumbnail. Let me just center it. Okay. How to create a thumbnail. Bring this up a bit. And bring this up a bit. Okay. How to create a thumbnail. Um, I'm going to add something for YouTube and I'm going to try and bring it up a bit make it a bit smaller okay how to create a thumbnail for YouTube although I don't want to infringe on any copyright so I'm just going to leave it as it was okay um, let's make it a bit bigger again can you remember was it 48 there we are so all I've done is I've written how to create a thumbnail and that isn't centered okay it is now you see the dotted line okay and there we are that's all there is to it then to um, download it I go up to the top right here share come down here to downloads um, it suggests a high resolution PNG although you can also use a JPG Okay, so you just click on that. Let's leave it at PNG and click on download. It actually says here the size, which is perfect. So we would just download here and save it to our computer and then upload it on our YouTube channel. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give you a couple more ideas. I'm going to leave the text here. I'm going to click on on the image and get rid of it and I'm going to see if I've got some other images that might be suitable okay, I've got lots of floral ones here plenty of things to choose from if you want to upload your own images you can upload files here or you can go to Elements and type something in. For example, something I did yesterday, Rose Gold Glitter, See All. I'm looking at the photos now. I'm going to go up here to get some free ones. Scroll down. So I'll just get the free ones. Okay, that's quite nice. So I would just move that. Over here. And over here. I sort of want it to be centralized. Okay, now, as you can see, some of the text and the, uh, the text boxes have been left behind. Okay, behind the image. So, well, actually, the text hasn't. So all you do is you go up to position here, backward, backward, okay? And I'd probably move them in or move this out a little bit. Okay, I click on the image. Let's look for another image. Mm -hmm. 
recently used, search elements, silver glitter, pink rectangle, doo -doo -doo, gold glitter line, white sparkle. Okay, that would not show up on the, um, on the white background. So I'm coming down here, I'm looking for the free elements. This is quite nice. And I'm going to go up to position, backward, backward. Okay, and you've got plenty of room to add your website or any other information you want to add in. Okay, so I hope that's been helpful. Um, as they do say to leave a bit of white space or negative space, so maybe I could try and do that here. Okay, that's not quite... Right, bring that down. Maybe add some swirls. Once you're in Canva, it becomes fun to do all kinds of things. So let's look at swirls. I have to go back up here to put the filter in for free ones. Swirls. See all. Hmm. Quite a few there. What about that one? makes it a bit more interesting okay and you can align it with the different okay so there are plenty of ideas there for you to go in and prepare your thumbnail for your YouTube channel and uh, next time I'll be looking at how to create a banner for your channel okay lovely creatives bye bye for now